like crowd. Curious, have you thought about coaching for a long time while you were playing? Was that something that had in your mind at any time when you were, you were playing? Um, I guess I kind of felt like, you know, helping out some of the younger guys. It's, you know, a form of coaching, I guess. Um, and I think everybody just assumed that I would do it. So uh, I would like to give it a shot and see, you know, how I can help you know, impact some young guys and you know, teach them what I know of the game. How did it all come together that you go from, you know, preparing for one more season playing to this? Well, um, you know, there's a lot of young guys on the roster on offense and defense. And, uh, you know, for me, it, it was a deal where, you know, I played a long time. So at some point you have to you know, be true to yourself and say, hey, uh, you know, do I want to keep going forward? You know, have a chance to, you know, maybe tear up your back, your neck, or whatever. So, um, you know, and the talent that uh, you know, some of the younger talent, obviously, you have to either say I'll be selfish and maybe take a roster spot, or you know, give somebody else an opportunity to, you know, live their dream. So, it was pretty easy. Um, Everybody's asking me if I'm okay and all this. And, uh, I'm good, you know. Uh, still in football, I'm still, you know, have an opportunity to you know, chase a, a Super Bowl ring. So, did what do you the most decision come down with Saturday that you decided? Did you know like late last week? No, um, uh, it was pretty much Saturday. Um, that's kind of when I just said, hey. This is what the deal is. It's it's cool, um, but it's it's one of those things where you know when Rasha cuts happen, it's you know pretty much the worst day, um, you know as a player because you know, you've built a bond with so many people and to see so many guys leave, and then there's guys that you really want to stay because you know they're good players but you know might have been bumped out just because you know another guy that you know they had to keep or whatever so. Um, you know, body still feels good. Have some aches and pains here and there, but um, at the end of the day, uh, you know, I'm, my body's not what it used to be. So, somebody that's younger, you know, in whatever position could definitely use that roster spot. It's, what's the exact name of your, your title? I know Mike said you're going to be working with defensive backs. Is it their title? BMF. <laughs> <laughs> he got that one. Uh, <laughs> he got that one. Uh, I'm just going to help Coach Gray, assistant, uh, DB coach of Inc., and just work with the Nichols. Have you thought about what it's going to be like on the sideline on Sunday, not being able to run out in the field and just being in the coaching position? <laughs> I've thought about what it's going to be like on the sideline and not having to hit 300 pound men. Uh, it's probably going to be different the first time. Um, not having done it before, so probably one of those things where you have to really experience it to be able to talk about it. I mean, I, I don't know what the uh, the feeling I'll have, or you know, like a rush of emotion, or be nervous as hell because I can't do anything, you know, on the field, and you know, depending on however the game is going or whatever. So that that'll be one that I just let happen and just go with it. Parents, did they come to you with the idea, or did you go to them and say, hey, what am I joining the coaching staff? Um, coach asked me, you know, said, hey, you know, I'd like to have you coach if you're willing. So, um, of course, that was something that I, I wanted to do in the first place and see, you know, if it was something that I would like to do you know, going forward. Terrence, uh, Zim mentioned he walked down to your office today, which sounded kind of weird to hear. Was it weird for you to come to the building and go to an office versus coming into the locker room? Your I would practice? say that's kind of weird, but it's, it's more weird being called coach by some of the guys that were my teammates. You know? <laughs> I don't know if I can get used to that, to be honest with you. Um, you know, coach Newman, hey coach. <laughs> that just doesn't sound right. You know? <laughs> Terrence, how, how do you go about relating to guys that a couple days ago were your teammates and now you're in a, in a different role, more official role than you were just as a mentor? I think it's a little bit easier um, having you know, played for a while, but these guys saw, you know, the work that you put in, and I think, you know, at a certain point in time, you get respect, and you know, people understand, like, hey, this guy's out here, you know, after 15 years, busting, but you know, studying. So I think it, when you 
you talk about how do we relate, I mean, they know what I brought to the t table as a player, and you know, I'm gonna take, bring the same tenacity with helping these guys as well. What do you, Harris, most, you feel like you've almost been a coach in the last couple of years, the way you've kind of worked with McKenzie and some of the younger guys, and as the players have gotten younger, so much younger than you, you feel like you've, you know, in some ways you... Need me outside. <laughs> You're still young. Call me old, huh? <laughs> no, you're young to me. Uh, yeah, that's what I was saying on the first question. That uh, you know, having helped you know younger guys. I mean, from when I was in Dallas, Cincinnati to here, uh, I feel like it's kind of like you know a fraternity of sorts. We play DB. It's you know one of the hardest positions. We're doing something so unnatural, which is going backwards while you got a guy running forward at you. Um, so I feel like. You know, you, you must pass on knowledge when you when you can. Um, you know, because a position that's hard enough, uh, and I've played long enough, been in the system long enough that uh, I feel like I can, you know, definitely help in different areas. Terrence, what are you most proud of when you look back at your playing career? Probably that I had to have a reconstructed ACL, <laughs> or shoulder, or you know, bar injury. Coupled with the fact that uh, I think last year was was pretty sweet. Like that's the furthest I've ever been, um, you know, in my career. And that was one game away from the Super Bowl. So I think uh, going forward, you know, that's what I'm chasing. You know? So I'll work as if, if you know I was going to go out to play, but it's more going to be going out to teach. How's life going to change for you outside of football? Now? hours or anything like yesterday it's going to change drastically I'm not going to have much I'm not going to have any friends outside of this building that's for sure Karen said what was a bit of a youth movement how did you also feel about uh, Brian Robinson being released on Saturday along with your departure yeah I talked to Brian and um, the fact that he was here his whole career I felt extremely bad and uh, we had talked uh, Friday a little bit so Probably why I was so okay with you know, doing what I did. I mean, it's 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 tough, but I feel like you know having experienced so much stuff, met so many people that for me it's it, it's it's not a hard transition. You know, some people get depressed and um, they have a hard time leaving the game, but you know I've loved this game since the day I played it. But it was my time, you know. Chance, were you at all surprised when they uh, suggested you were going to be coaching? No, I mean, I uh, I was definitely cool with it. You know, it was something that I wanted to try eventually. So, you know, I figured, you know, when's the best time to know? I mean, I've, I've been in this defense. I know the players. Pretty simple. Can you explain the pride that you have when you see someone like Xavier get a big contract and succeed, and you know, the players that you've mentored have so much success? I don't really feel like I've mentored them. I think I just, you know, passed on a little knowledge. To be honest with you, um, they put in all the hard work. So for me, it's just gratifying to see that he got rewarded for his hard work. I mean, that's the, the greatest part about it. Is there something that over your career you didn't like that a coach did that you will sort you will not do now as that you're a coach? Can I use bad words? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I probably won't call you know anybody bad words. <laughs> Is there uh, any scenario where, say, an injury happens during the season that you would consider coming back to be a player? I said yesterday because I was joking around and said, man, uh, if anything happens, it's going to be the shortest retirement in history. Uh, <laughs> you know, I think it's easy, though. Um, you know, I feel comfortable being done. So 
But if there was an injury and they needed somebody, would you consider coming back and I playing? Mean, I wouldn't have a choice. I mean, it, it's, it would be too hard to have, just go pick up somebody who has not been in the system and just try to plug them in in one week. I think it would be way too hard. So I would definitely do it, but um, I hope I don't have to. Right. Your plan is to stay in playing shape then? Yeah, yeah. I'd still work out. I'm not trying to have you know, the beer belly. And, Good luck. <laughs> this is all bad. You guys are doing wonders for my college. You're online, though. Are you? Uh, I sit ups and a little bit of that. Are you thinking of coaching as something you're committing to long term, or are you kind of going year to year? I, I think this is more of a trial period. You know, I, I can come in, do my work. Try to help out and see if this is something that I would like to do. Going forward. So it's you know, no pressure, but you know, I I feel like I'm a diligent worker and you know work hard. So you know if it's something in the future that um, I can see myself doing after this year, then I would definitely do it. Terrence, if you had decided I wanted to keep playing, did you get the sense there was going to be a roster spot for you here? Yeah, I mean there was probably more situations where. Um, I could have stayed and played, um, but like I said, at the end of the day, uh, you know, my body felt good, but I realized that it was time for me to step away. You know, uh, I wanted to be done and not have to worry about uh, you know, if, if I ever start a family, will I be able to walk or you know, play with my kids and things like that. So um, I didn't have any problems. Didn't break down because I was thinking about memories and stuff. Like I was cool with it, and you know, we kept it moving. So I was completely content, and I still am. How tough were the contract negotiations? A little bit different salaries for coaches. Yeah, but I'm, I, I still have my lunch money from third grade, so <laughs> money is. is you know, uh, my my deal is I got a passion for the guys in this in this building. You know, and the guys that play for this team, the coaches, so. I just wanted to have an opportunity to do something I've never done. And, you know, that's the motivation. That's when I come in here, that's what I'm motiv that's what's motivating me. Trying to help out these young guys in the ring. Last one for Coach Newark. <laughs> <laughs> you just talk about the relationship that you've built over the couple of years with Jerry Gray. Man, Coach Gray is awesome. I mean, he's he's a great teacher, a great educator, but he's he's much like a father to you. You get a young a bunch of young kids here away from their families and he's he's just a, a great human being you know and he's super smart he's played the game uh, i've learned a, a great deal from him so it's it's the best situation that i get to you know help him and work work for him uh and be able to still do you know some of the things that i love yes, sir.